Howdy, and welcome back to the Texas Bucket List as we honor the veterans of our great country. Next up, we head to Montgomery County where we heard about a new memorial dedicated to all of the veterans that have served our country. Montgomery County is rich with Texas history. The Texas flag was created here. Texians from here fought at the Alamo, and honoring that love for the Lone Star State is commonplace here. But so is their respect and admiration for those that served our country. That's why you'll find the Montgomery County Veterans Memorial Park here, and it's hard to miss. Growing up in Montgomery County is great. It was great then, and it's great now. Jimmy Edwards III grew up in Conroe. He served as a state representative, and he was a county judge. But first and foremost, he's a Marine. There's no such thing as an X-Marine, just a former Marine. A former active duty Marine. Yeah, oorah. His passion for veterans is extremely evident, and that's why he led the charge when it came to creating a new park dedicated to those who served. We always hear that it was the greatest generation during World War II. We believe that there is another great generation ahead of us if they are educated and know about the past. That's what this park is about. Before Jimmy went into the Marines, he actually spent time on Capitol Hill. I was a congressional page. I worked in the House, U.S. House, U.S. Senate. I worked as a Supreme Court page, and then I worked as a page under Lyndon Johnson oh, wow. in White House. In the White House? Wow. It was great. It was quite a fantastic experience. I was on the floor of the House of Representatives in 1964 when the Civil Rights Act was passed. And so I saw a lot of historical legislation passed. In 1968, riots in Washington, D.C. left him wondering what more he could do for his country. I, uh, along with several other of our buddies, we decided that um, we'd stop talking about it and go do something and at least find out what was going on. So I joined the United States Marine Corps. In a few short months, he found himself in the middle of Vietnam. We didn't discuss the political ramifications or the merits or demerits of the Vietnam War. We just figured out what we we're going to eat and how we we're going to stay alive. A year later, his life changed forever. I was wounded August 19, 1969. Lost both legs to a 122 millimeter rocket. Jimmy was medevaced and refused to return home in a wheelchair. There was two things I was going to do. One was walk home and two, I was going to wear my dress blues on. In December of that year, he returned to Texas. At that time in 69, there was such a backlash against the soldiers, the, vet, the soldier himself, not the policymakers that described our policies in Vietnam, but us. And so a lot of men were coming home without uh, their uniforms, ditching their uniforms, not wearing their uniforms. There was a lot of threats against us. And so I decided I was going to wear mine home. I didn't care what they said. I stepped off the airplane to 250 people from Montgomery County and Conroe to welcome me home. That's when I made my decision that one day I would pay that back. And that's what this park's about. That's amazing that feeling lasted 50 years. Mm -hmm. Well, it just took a while to figure out how I was going to do it. Leading the charge on the Montgomery County Veterans Memorial Park has become his passion in life. To honor the Montgomery County residents who paid the ultimate price in every war someone from here has fought in. From the Alamo to today. This memorial was placed here by the Montgomery County Veterans Memorial Commission mm -hmm. in honor of the 174 men and women that fell in action from enduring freedom backwards in history. Coming up to Vietnam here, did you know any of these guys? Very well. I knew most of them. Really? What's it like walking by their names and seeing them etched in stone? Still to this day, uh, very sobering for me very moving. But it's not just those who fell that are honored. Everyone who served has a spot at this massive memorial. There are 580 names that have been gathered here of men and women that have served in the United States military services. This line will continue on. Each year we dedicate the new names. Okay. Memorial Day, Veterans Day. This memorial never stops. Anyone that served in the United States Armed Forces from 1776 till now is eligible to be on here. And they come from all over the country and all the state. We have names on here that people don't even know where Montgomery County is. You know, a lot of times with memorials like this, you see those who paid the ultimate price. Why include everyone who's served? Because they were willing to take the oath. They could have paid the ultimate price. Anyone, 
we need to recognize all of those that serve. And that's what we're doing here. And also the, those that fail. Uh, that was a lot of the issue and problem. Some people said, my name doesn't deserve to be on something. I said, yes, it does. You didn't know where you're headed or what you were going to do and what your MOS was going to be. There's something very important to us to understand about the line. There's no rank. It is your name and your branch of service. There are three-star generals on that line, and there are privates on that line. But they all serve and willing to serve equally. And that's what the line is all about. Walking around the Montgomery County Veterans Memorial Park is a memorable and moving experience. It's a chance to thank everyone who served for their service and to reflect and respect those who made it home and remember those who didn't. If you want to come see something about how we believe in our country, how we support our veterans, how we support our first responders, how this county does it, and how we feel about it, come to Montgomery County, come to Conroe, and you can see it.